Eguna on Bilbo. More than $2 trillion is the cost of poor quality code just only considering USA. And four days is the time spent on fixing bugs. Who here doesn't think that clean code is a crucial thing to use? Raise your hands, don't be shy. So, okay, I will try to convince you that clean code is one crucial thing. So let's thrive with clean code. I'm Jonathan Villa, developer advocate for Sonar, Java champion, as he said, with a long story with the Java community, but we're a developer for more than 30 years with languages like Delphi. Has anybody used Delphi before? So if we focus on clean code and the cost, it's more than two trillion only on poor quality code, but more than 1.5 trillions only on technical debt. And we are not counting even the reputation cost. But if we fix only on finding and fixing bugs, it's more than $600 billion. So now, at this point, we know that the healthier the, clean, the, the code is, the less number of defects, therefore, the cheapest it will, uh, it will be. But what is clean code? Well, basically, clean code follows, follows four uh, main attributes. It has to be consistent having the same format and the same solutions across all the code. But also has to be intentional. It's uh, clear what a function, method, class uh, is doing with the logical approach and efficient because it's not wasting more resources than needed. But also it's ad adaptable because it needs to evolve easily. Therefore, it will have a clear and focused goal. Also, there are no repetitions and it will follow a modular design in order to allow it to evolve independently. Finally, it is well tested and tested well. It's not the same. Google it. I am also responsible because it will not infringe licenses or copyrights. It will not have hard-coded uh, private information. Yes, there is a lot of hard-coded secrets in the code. Check it. And uh, it will also don't use offensive language. This will lead us to have a maintainable, reliable, and secure code. But how can we do clean code? Well, developers will use their uh, usual IDE, and using a plugin, in this case SonarLint, it will check the code as they type. This way, the developer will see how this is an issue, so they will learn why that is an issue, and also the way to fix those issues. Doing this, they will follow the methodology of learn as you code. It's not only fixing things, it's learning and being a better developer. But also, they will focus only on new code. Eventually, code will die. So every year, 20% of the code is changed. So why to focus on old code? There's no point in that. So focus on new code, have good code being merged into main, and you will, you will be fine. But then, once everything is done, we need to avoid that bad code is merged to our main branch. Therefore, we need tools like uh, SonarQ, for instance, that has quality gates. So we configure which is the level of or number of vulnerabilities, issues, and test coverage that we want as a minimum to be merged into the main branch. With this, we will have clean code in production. But also I want to tell you which is the um, clean code involvement in open source. Well, just only considering what the Sonar Cloud Free Edition is uh, analyzing, more than 87,000 open source projects, well, there are Apache Software Foundation, Eclipse Foundation, with several projects that are following this approach and using these kind of tools. Projects like Apache Camel, Hazelcast, even the Java, uh, the Java SDK for Amazon are following this approach. And as a contributor, well, Sonar has been present on the open source world for more than 13 years with Sonar Lead and Sonar Cube. And I want to finish just simply showing that there are several tools free to use 
that you can incorporate in your development line, IDE plugins that will check your code as you type, as SonarLint, free, SonarCube, also free and open source that will analyze uh, groups of projects, and finally, SonarCloud with this free edition for open source projects. If you want to know more, just go to the website or ping me. Es que ricasco.